hope all of you are fine today we are going to discuss two topics the first one is importance of trees and the second was a second one parts of a tree from the chapter little by little a presentation by mrs shima shah from kv khanapara children look at the picture carefully what do you see yes if you look at the tree carefully you will see that the tree is smiling there is a boy who is have you know taking fresh air breathing fresh air then we can see what do what all things does the tree gives us it gives us fruits it gives us vegetables it gives us medicines okay and at the same time not only we human beings but also they give things to other animals and birds also for example we can see that a nest is there where which is the home of birds isn't it what do you see in this picture yeah the tree is crying isn't it why is the tree crying because we are cutting the trees for our benefit for example we cut the branches of the tree and the leaf in order to burn the burn it as firewood and this also pollute the environment then again we cut the bark of the tree to get rubber by which we make tires eraser etc then again we can see even the birds are flying away why because when we cut the trees the nests are destroyed so in this way we are causing harm to our tree that is why the tree is crying now the importance of trees children you are going to write this in your book itself you have to write three sentences on what the trees give us so if you look at the picture it's very clear clear the trees trees give us fruits vegetables and flowers it gives us fresh air to breathe and it gives us medicines how we harm the trees you have to write three sentences on it so we cut their branches use it as firewood and pollute the air we damage the nests of the trees and force the birds to fly away from their homes we cut the bark of the trees to make rubber tire etc of discussion parts of a tree so i am sure students that all of you have observed a tree isn't it we all have seen maybe mango tree lychee tree isn't it so in the basically the tree has got different parts the way we have in our body if you look at your body even it has got different parts like eyes ear nose leg etc similarly in case of trees also they have got different parts okay so if you look at it carefully there is a roots we can see roots at the bottom so this is underground part of the tree okay that means below the soil and it basically it absorbs the water and nutrition from the soil then we have the trunk or the stem okay and uh, it is covered with a hard covering that is called bark the stem basically then we have branches we can see so many branches are there so it basically supports the leaves fruits flowers etc then we have very small weak branches also they are called twigs then we see so many leaves are there so these leaves they are basically the kitchen where the food is prepared and then we have flowers we have fruits etc these words describe parts of a tree write them in the given space so this also you are going to write down in your book page number 25 so i have already discussed stem or trunk it keeps the tree in standing position bark it is the outer layer of the stem leaves it prepares food for the tree branch it bears flowers leaves fruits and flowers twigs are very small thin weak branches root underground part which absorbs water and nutrition from the soil shoot it is the new growth when the seed germinates
This question answer you are going to write down in your notebook. Name the tree that the acorn grows into. So we have already we already read the chapter, uh, the poem, little by little, and we saw that the acorn grows into an oak tree. Question number two: What things does a seed need to grow? A seed needs air, water, soil, and sunlight to grow. Question three: How many describing words can you find in the poem? Actually, students, there are many describing words in the poem. Few that I have written are little, wide, tiny, deep, slowly, improving, seat, cylinder, and mighty. So we have a small homework, children. You have to draw, color, and label the different parts of a tree. understood the topic so thank you